Come on, everyone. The perfect spot is just up ahead. I know it. An older teenage boy with messy dark brown hair yells as he fights his way through a bush. Shallow, you need to wait up. Everyone is being left behind, says a pure voice from an even more pure looking girl of the same age. Her long curly brown hair falls along her long dress, beautifully woven from vibrant grasses and flowers. Look, now you are tangling yourself up in that bush. Hush, Natili. You all are just slow, and I am not stuck. I just need to get my drum loose. Shelly strains to say as the bush tugs on his shirt and shorts crafted from large green leaves and a wooden drum strapped to his back. Whatever. I will help you, Natili offers as she pulls away part of the bush to help. Hey, wait up. We are coming. A duet of voices shouts as two, nearly identical in looks and fashion, younger teen boys show up. Both boys wear a matching set of shirts, shorts, and caps, all crafted from the flores, flora of nature. Look, Checo, they are playing in that bush, says one of them. Then we should join them, Taco, says the other. They both push their way into the bush, completely clueless as to what is actually happening. Guys, no, you are both only making it worse cries Natili in disbelief that something this idiotic is actually happening. The sound of heavy footsteps is heard approaching as another large, older teen, with the looks of a grown man with short-cut brown hair and wearing a long, worn-out poncho of pants, hurries in the direction of the others. Unaware of the commotion in the bush, he does not slow down. When he does see them, he shouts, There you are! Whoa! The teen trips and falls on all of them, finally pushing a full path through the bush. Baru, get off of us! Shallow's muffled pleas come from the bottom of the pile. Sorry, Baru says with an indication he actually means it. He climbs up the pile, then helps everyone else to their feet, leaving Shallow face down into the ground with his drum on top of him. How come you act so cool but always be this clumsy? Shallow angrily asks as he brushes twigs out of his hair, which weirdly matches the dark brown color of his drum. I was just trying to keep the twins from messing around. Baruo starts to explain, and I just tripped. It is not a big deal. Before Shiloh can say anything back, Cheko and Teko chime in and say, We are not twins! I am a year older than Teko, says Cheko. Yeah, Cheko is old, Teko tags on. Everyone, stop arguing, Natili yells at the bickering boys, with a voice too loud to come from such a small girl. It works, though, since they obey her with silence. With her back to the others, all Natili utters is, Look at this! with the sense of amazement in her voice. The group of boys face the direction of Natili's wonder. They are stare out into a perfectly round clearing with bright green grass bathing in sunlight. What really catches the group's attention is a large, unique tree directly across the clearing. All the other trees on the island are skinny and start to curve down near the top due to the weight of the large leaves. This tree, however, is thick and stands tall as if full of power. It is larger, darker, and stands out from all the surrounding shrubbery.